Hi everyone, in this video we're going to install the Visual Studio Code Editor. If you've gone through some of my previous videos, we've used the Dart Editor, which is no longer being maintained, as well as the Atom Editor, which the Dart plugin is not actually maintained. But the Visual Studio Code Editor is maintained, but in addition to that, it does have some really nice features that I do like. So why don't we use this instead, because it's, in my opinion, my personal opinion, it's, it's a better editor than the Atom Editor. So uh, just a personal preference again, nothing against the um, Atom Editor. But let's install this. I'm going to pretend like we have never installed any code, uh, any um, Dart in our system at all whatsoever. And we'll go from the very beginning because I know some people may be um, joining these videos and not have any experience in programming at all whatsoever. Um, not only that, but I think that the Visual Studio, in the next few videos, we'll go over it, and I think that the Visual Studio code is similar enough, at least in some of the functions once we go through them, that it should not be difficult to apply the Visual um, with the Atom Editor, with the Dart Editor, and with the Visual Studio code. So in other words, if you know how to use Visual Studio code, you'll probably know how to use the Atom Editor, at, or at least be able to see what I'm doing on the Atom Editor and do them properly on the Visual Studio code. Okay, so let's install it in this video and the next video I'm going to install it on Windows um, and Mac. I don't have that Mac, a Mac, so I don't think it's that difficult to install though. So let's just go with these two. Right now I'm using Fedora. This is the GNOME 3 desktop environment. I It, it doesn't seem to be difficult to install the... Um, uh, install it on KDE or any other flavor. If you have any difficulties whatsoever, please let me know, okay? One way to install Visual Studio Code is going to code.visualstudio.com and go to the download and download the RPM. The problem with this is that it doesn't actually update when you need it to. So you'll have to uninstall it and reinstall it. So instead, what, why don't we do this? We'll go to Visual Studio Code and type in copper, C-O-P-R, Visual Studio Code. The first one, mosquito slash VS Code slash copper. And we click on that. And it's nice and simple. So activities, T-E-R, it's terminal. And literally, you type in sudo copy this, paste it, type in your password, yes, and then actually type in this right here. By the way, this will be in the comment section down below. Oh, wait a minute. I'm going to paste it right here, okay? While we're waiting for that to happen, let's go to dartlang, www.dartlang.org, click on Install Dart, and then what I'm going to say is Manual Install Download Zip Files. And I'm going to say click on Dart SDK. I'm going to open it straight from the Archive Manager. You don't have to do that. But I'm going to extract this, extract directly onto the desktop, not the desktop, I'm sorry, the um, home folder. And then I'm going to download Dartium. I can download that. I could put that anywhere. Um, I'll put that. It's going to take a little bit longer to download that. And I'll extract that to maybe the Documents folder, OK? Now, this will take a little bit longer, not much longer. Let's see what the progress is for, here we go. This is going to take a little while to install. Now, if you have Ubuntu, OK, there's, a several, there's another different way to install this also. You can actually go on Fedi. So if you have Fedora, Type in Fedi, search it, the first one, folkswithhats.org. What you literally do is you put in the terminal, again, you put sudo, like I did before, S-U-D-O, space, and you copy and paste this, and you enter it. And it'll give you a graphical installer where you can actually install the um, Visual Studio. So that is another way of actually installing it also. Just for the record, this... Fedi is just sets up this mosquito v slash VS code 
it just automatically sets that up for you, um, that that repository. Okay. Um, oh, just for the record, I um, just wanted to mention a little bit about Visual Studio Code. Um, it is by Microsoft, and it is free software. For it, free meaning no cost, but also free as in freedom. So you're able to install it to whatever system you have. You, there's no real limitations. Uh, from my understanding, if you download it from here, this is a little bit more. It's what we call freeware, so it's not... It's a little bit different. So if you're not into that like I am, then it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to you, but just... Um, it is you can install in different systems. It is no cost as well. So that's another way, another way of installing some type of applications on Fedora. If you have Ubuntu or um, a Debian uh, operating system, you would click here, Visual Studio Code Ubuntu PPA. I'll list these down below. And what you would do is literally open up a terminal again, type this. Enter, type this, enter, type this, enter, and then you would type this, install code, enter. Code Insiders, that's the development version. That's not the actual stable version, which is, we're beginners, so that's kind of what we want to do, or we're intermediates now, um, but whatever, wherever we are in our system, um, apt install code, and that will get you the Visual Studio, okay? Now, what did we do just a few Seconds ago, uh, gotta keep that in check. Okay, let's see if that's downloading. It is. So what we did, if we go to the files section, this is just a fresh install of Ubuntu uh, of Fedora. Excuse me, I haven't changed anything, and this would be the same for Ubuntu and with Fedora. I put the Dart SDK right here. Okay, and what I'm going to do is. <clears throat> click right here, show hidden files, and we're going to see a bunch of hidden files right here. Dot bash RC. Double click on that. And I will have this in the comments section. Where did that go? Here's my cheat sheet right here. No, that's not it. Here, pub. What I'm going to do is copy this and paste it at the very end. Instead of path to location, I'm going to say, because my path is home, Richard, Dart, SDK, bin. Cause, because that's the location of Dart SDK bin. Okay? So in the future, uh, when I have to actually update the Dart SDK, because it updates like every couple of months. What I would do is just right click and move to trash or delete it. I would download a new copy and just insert it right in the same location that, like I did before. All right, so it doesn't auto update, but at the same time, that's unbelievably easy to do, right? We don't have to do any messing around. That's all we do and we're done. All right, so here we will save this right there, close it down. Uh, Let's save it all before I close it down. That was something else altogether. Hide these files again. Close it up. Okay. And I think that was about all we have to do. Now it's installed. So what I'm going to do, close this down. Activities. Show applications. Visual Studio Code right there. I'm going to add to favorites. All right. And I'm going to open it up. And what I'm going to do, that always opens up. What I'm going to do is under the view extensions, view extensions, type in Dart, install by Danny Tuppany. I think that's how you pronounce it. Reload it. Reload window. It, you just have to restart the whole system itself. And it should be good. All right, for right now, we're going to close this up. Couple more things. I'm going to go here to the file section and to the, I think it was a document that I put Dartium, okay? I'm going to click right here. <clears throat> I'm going to click on the files right here, preferences, behavior, executable text files, ask what to do, and then close that. And then I'm going to click on the Chrome wrapper, 
and click Run. It's going to open up Dartium. We'll go over that in the next few videos. And I'm going to close it again. But what I'll do is I'll go to Activities, look for Chromium, Add to Favorites. Okay? If this doesn't make a whole lot of sense, don't worry. We'll go over this in the near future, in the next few videos. One last thing. I'm going to go to Terminal. So we're just doing a setup here, remember. And then I'm going to say pub global activate stage hand. And what stage hand actually is, it's a program itself. We'll go over pub in just a little bit in the next few videos. Stage hand just basically is a program that allows you to create um, bare shells, so frameworks for programs. So basically, it's like if you're going to write a book, you have to write the book, right? But you also have to write the cover and make the binding and cut the pages neatly and number the pages, right? That stuff, yes, you got to do that. But wouldn't it be great if somebody else just did that for you, just handed you the book already done, and all you have to do is to actually just write the, the contents? That's what StageHand does. It gives you the framework, so all you have to do is fill in the actual program. We don't have to worry about the supporting structure overall. Again, next video. So that's it. That's We just set up Visual Studio Code. I'm going to install it in the next video on Windows, and let's experiment from there on and learn a little bit about Visual Studio Code, and then we'll jump into learning more about Dart. Okay? Thank you.